Hey everybody, this is Mark, and this is a little bit about me. Um, I grew up in an alcoholic household, and throughout my childhood, I experienced a lot of fear and anxiety. So I never knew what was going to happen. This uncertainty. And when I was 11 years old, I found uh, had my first drink. I got drunk when I was 12. Uh, through all my teens, this uh, fear and anxiety developed itself into social anxiety. Uh, I became shy, um, never felt good enough, never felt a part of, and alcohol became the solution to my problem. When I drank, that fear and anxiety went away. I became outgoing and happy. Uh, the things that bothered me didn't bother me. And by the time uh, I was in college, I started drinking alcoholically. And uh, what started happening is that I became like a jickle and hide at times. When I drank a certain amount, you never knew what you were going to get. Um, I was at a life at a party or became the one that killed the party. And this continued on, continued on for years. And after a while, alcohol really stopped working for me didn't have the effect that it had. So I'm becoming more of the problem. And I became aware of this because people were telling me things I did. I wake up after blackouts not knowing what would happen. I used to say to myself, I can't do this anymore. I try to stop drinking. And I would stop for a day or two and I'd start again. Not knowing why did I start again. It became the automatic choice to life. No matter how screwed up things got the night before or whatever, no matter how hungover it got, no matter how much money it didn't have, no matter the situation, I always found myself drinking again. I was never present to anything. I was always drunk. Luckily enough, I didn't, I didn't lose my job at this time. But I do recall, like, Going to work sometimes, smell like alcohol or, or being hungover from the night before and everything. And I recall this sense waking up and I can't do it anymore. It's a hopeless state to be in. When you want to start drinking, you know the effect it's causing you, but you just can't stop. I have some periods of uh, sobriety, but I still met again because I'll drink again and celebrate the fact that it's not drinking for a while. So what happened is that I had to try to stop numerous times. I know how frustrating is I try to stop countless times. My people telling me and friends telling me that I can't limit my drinking. I can't monitor my drinking. I have a drinking problem. And so I'm getting tired of it. And still couldn't stop. So what I'm happening is that I wound up losing everything. I wound up losing my job and became unemployable. I lost all my money. I broke relationships. I lost my driver's license. I've been to jail, institutions. I firmly believe that for me, the next step would be death, because alcoholism can be a deadly disease. And when I was at the bottom, when I couldn't stop anymore, I had to fully give up. I had to fully say to myself that I can't do it alone. Because one cannot stop drinking on willpower alone. One can't stop drinking alone. Because alcoholism is too strong to fight on your own. It's in your mind. It becomes auto-choice. I had to make a conscious choice to throw myself into recovery and spirituality. I had to discover a power greater than me to help me. I, became, I went on this quest to get connected with this, with this power I had to connect with people that had been sober, that had worked the program. I had to work with others. And I found that power. 
and that power gave me strength to overcome my alcoholism. And I can honestly say that I had not had a drink since 2002. But it's not easy. Because life still happens. You can be sober, you can find a to a power, but you still have a self. And I made some poor choices early on. I had to file for bankruptcy. I've been married and divorced. And no matter how things challenging things got, I chose not to drink. I stayed sober. And it's through staying sober and working with others to find this power and helping people that I found my purpose. My purpose is to help others recover from alcoholism, to work with others, to help them overcome their seemingly hopeless state of mind, to become hopeless to hopeful. That's all I have, and thank you very much.